Joining us now is Valerie Newman. Good morning to you, Valerie. Good morning. You have done two things that I imagine are very difficult for rape victims to do. First, go to the police, and second, reveal yourself publicly yep. and come out with your story. Why is that so important to you? I think there's a big problem, and I think it needs to be resolved. Um, I think there's problems with the legal system. Clearly, as we just saw in Armin's report, it's yeah. been almost three years now yes. since you say you were raped by a stranger. Is it still vivid after all this time? I'll never forget it. I can replay it in my mind today. I don't think it's something you can forget. Is it something that you think you're having more trouble forgetting because there was never closure, never went anywhere? I think it would help to have closure, even if they're not going to prosecute, just to know that I was telling the truth, some kind of justification in my mind. Now, you've admitted that you had too much to drink that night, and because of that, a prosecutor's decided not to go to trial with this. They've questioned your memory of that night, saying that yes. you can't even remember if it was consensual. How do you respond to that? Um, I, I don't think it's right. I think you should be able to drink. I don't think, because you're drink, it's a written invitation that someone can rape you. Um, I did say no in the beginning, when before I had passed out, but I don't agree with that statement. Mm -hmm. That night of your rape, you uh, gave a sample which may contain the suspect's DNA, but that rape kit was never tested because no. the prosecutor, as we heard in Armin's report, said that it's a judgment call. He doesn't think this case is winnable even if the rape kit is tested. What's your response to that? I'd still like my day in court. If it, I mean, I'm willing to go through that. Um, if they don't, if I don't win, then okay, but at least I had my chance. Did you tell him this? Did you say, look, I don't care if I don't win, just let me go to court and let a jury decide? Yeah, that day when I went into the DA's office and they told me they weren't going to try it, I like begged and plead and cried and, you know, tried to persuade them that this is something I really wanted to do, but they just told me it wasn't going to happen. And in the meantime, they weren't even willing to get the rape kit tested. Yes. What reason did they give you for that? Um, I've been told different reasons. Uh, the sample size is too small or fun funding is a big one. They don't want to spend the money. They don't want to spend the money. So now you're on this crusade, an advocate not only for rape victims but also incest victims. What is your goal? I guess just to bring the issue in front of the public. Um, I'd love for something to change. Um, and maybe it's too late to help my case, but if it can help someone else, then it's well worth it. You think it's too late? Are you going to keep fighting for that? I'll keep fighting. I don't know that they'll, after three years, I don't know, after they said they won't prosecute it, I don't know that they'll come back and say they will, but, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're in it for the long haul. Yes. Thank you, Valerie. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you.